I think whoever comes in next after Ten Hag is probably looking at quite a reset with the team. Yeah, the open heart surgery that was supposed to have been done. It's what Ralph Ragnick said you exactly. need to do and you have yeah. to actually suck it up and allow yeah. this to happen. It's funny because the lads were talking about in the news round last night about, uh, I think Mick was putting it to, like, like if you had all the money in the world, what players would you keep at United? And there's, there is an argument to say none of them like that you would replace everyone. But I actually would keep about three or four of them. Like, I do think there's serious talent in that squad. Who is it? But three? they're just so last. I'd keep, I would keep Rashford. I'd keep Fernandes, but take the captaincy off him and let him go back to being Fernandes, who was an annoying something. Petulous. But he also scores and assists a lot. Mm. And I'd keep Martinez. I'd keep Shaw. I'd keep Varane. I'd probably keep Casemiro in the squad. There's actually a lot of good players there. I'd keep McTominay, you know. Forgotten man yeah. earlier in the year. Not in the role, yeah. not to blame as a defensive midfielder, but McTominay's got a bit of something about him that some of the rest of the midfielders don't have. He's, he's that guy that, when he goes and plays for Scotland, he scores goals. Yeah. And coming off, you know, I wouldn't keep McTominay, to be honest, and I wouldn't keep Rashford at this stage. I think that, like, you, you get a clean break, you reset, you get loads of money in for the players who've come through your own system, you reset your financial fair play, because uh, for some reason they never get mentioned in it, but they've spent a load of money. Mm. You know, I understand they, that they make a load of money. They don't, they, they don't tend to sell very well either or no. get players off but the books. But they well, can't get players off the books and that's yeah, the problem. That, that is t- yeah, like, McGuire is still there. McTominay, obviously, Ten Hag wanted him gone. Donny van de Beek still there. Donny van yeah. de Beek Donny still van de Beek. Yeah. To qualify the Rashford uh, opinion about him staying, I wouldn't make him the main man. But I think there's like 20 goals a season in Rashford in all competitions. So left. why would you get rid of him? Yeah, play but I just want to make him the main man. I'd keep, I get that status off him. There was a period where they could have made a fortune from PSG and um, it just isn't... Something's happened and he doesn't appear to be able to get that confidence he's back that good. at the moment. He's just not that good. They're well, going to make a massive loss, loss I, 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 think this, too. I think if Rashford played in a the likes of a, a City or Liverpool, I think he'd be... Very good. He'd be banging yeah. in 25 goals a season. When I say that, I don't think he's world class, I think he's the level below. I, oh, but you, you're not, not going to have 11 world class players in your team. So you'd be absolutely delighted to have Rashford in a good team if, you, if it was well coached. But I think the Manchester United period of his career has hit a point now where it's very difficult to see him getting But they're back. about to go into another new era, mm. United. So he could get a spark back then. Maybe. I wouldn't get rid of him. Okay. Well, I, I, him, I, look, I can see the case. I can see the yeah. case for keeping him.